hey my people welcome back to another update video i'm going to be sharing with you the changes i've made to the construction of the airbnb since the last time i shared so we have been tiling tiling took approximately three weeks and it has been a bit stressful to tell you the truth the runs to the hardware have been so frequent you know you get a measurement for the room but one of the things you have to take into consideration is the cuttings and what i mean by that is how the tiles get cut so even though you receive the measurement to take it to the hardware and they give you you have the square feet so one of the things is that when they cut the tiles how the tile is cut off sometimes it's not useful after that to be used in certain spaces and so you're going to end up with quite a bit of waste so when you're buying tiles ensure you take into consideration the cuttings the things that cut off that you don't use look at how many cuttings i had look at all of that so the cut of tiles really results in a lot of waste of money so when you go to the hardware you have to buy extra just to accommodate that i'm not a fan of that at all so you guys know that with my videos it's not just about showing what i am doing but also empowering you with knowledge so you see one of the things you need to be aware of when you're doing construction and tiling specifically is how measurements are done so if you don't know this you run the risk of getting robbed without knowing how much you really should be charged so let me teach you a quick lesson the area that you're tiling to determine how much square feet is the length times the width use a tape measure measure the length of the room the width of the room and multiply it if for example the area of the room is 5 by 10 as in 5 feet times 10 feet the area you're going to pay the tiler for straight up is 50 square feet that is simple and easy however if the area let's say it's 10.4 times five feet the tiler is supposed to round down the 10.4 to 10 so you still must pay for 50 square feet once it is less than 0.4 so if it is 10.3 10.2 10.1 you still must pay for 50 square feet it's not supposed to go up so if it is 10.5 or more he should round or he will round the 10.5 up to 11. so instead of paying for 50 square feet you're going to pay for 55 square feet now why is this so important you get charged per square feet to tile my floor i got charged 200 dollars per square feet let me know in the comments what you guys have paid in the past for tiling so in addition to tiling we also install the doors so this is the view from the front this is a barn door it's not completely finished installation there are no handles on the door just yet but it is about 90 percent complete so let me show you that door we stained it my husband and i we went through and stained all the doors we had like nine doors in the house and you know you're trying to cut costs so when you're trying to cut costs you know there's going to be some diy so the staining is pretty easy we bought the internal external stain made by edge chem from the hardware and after about three coatings on the door we left it for dry and then we use the gloss over it to give the shiny effect and it's just a regular paint brush we didn't use any spray gun so if you want to do the same feel free i feel like when you add a little gloss to it it kind of you know make it look a little bit more classy so that's what we did to all the doors including the ply doors inside so let's head back inside opening the barn door so as i said no handles yet but that is to be installed so there we go we have the tiles are white there's a little streak of like gold that i thought would be great to just blend back with the wall now i just think it's perfect it's not too 
you know cloudy not too overdone i love the view from being up in the living room um you see that track on the barn door when i say it was difficult to locate locally in jamaica plus at a reasonable cost active trader had the track at the top which is required for the barn door installation for about twelve thousand something plus stock so we went there and they were out of stock right and we really needed two so instead we went to true value to see if we could get it people do you believe true value had one for thirty three thousand dollars plus stacks compared to active traders so twelve thousand something so i had to go through online looking for different hardware calling them and we finally found one called s and m that was on walton park road where we also got it for 12 grand so let me tell you now i love an accent wall i got this tile at tile city right i got it from tile city and i just love the way how it looked because it gave me you know the sense of creating an actual piece of art on the wall no the problem is i thought it actually form out into something like when you're looking at it you probably could see a picture of a forest or something else but guys that was not the case but more work with it still i feel like it's growing on me and i start loving it even more it's kind of abstract but i love it now if you look at the wall there you realize that the top of the wall not painted that's because when i first did the setup the wall was white and it just wasn't giving the tile against the white wall was not you know coming to life but when i put it against the honey blonde it came alive so since the last update I've kind of added gray to the color palette and I really liking it so I'm gonna take you now down into the kitchen now guys my just done tiling so the walls are not perfect I still have quite a bit of touching up to do um, after the tiling was done but as we step down in the kitchen, you can see the gray tiles on the wall. Now, let me tell you, these gray tiles, I found them at this little hardware of Spanish Town Road. And those gray tiles are like, they were like 50 some dollars so one. They're small. And you know as you can see i have a little bordering going on that has a shimmering of gold so i am really loving how this turned out the growth that i use in between the tile is platinum so it's giving that effect and look at my countertop guys remember this was needles of concrete and my other countertop there we're just fitting to see if the cylinder could still fit and the countertop for the for the wash area there to wash dishes so i'm loving that the back door is installed we need to put a door sweep there to get rid of the space but i loving it i think it's giving modern tell me what you think so we're heading now into the hallway and there we are with room number three is the back room called room number three at the back and if you look on the floor the tiling is different no guys that's why i started to tile the house from the front because i said just in case i run out the back room would be the only room that didn't have the same tile but you know i still get the same similar tone white now when I went to the hardware, I tried to get back the tiles that I used throughout the rest of the house, but they just didn't have any. And I had to get these white ones. But I think it looks it looks okay. But everything else is in the original tile that I show. Now back into the hallway. And, you know, nice little view there in the living room. And this is room number two. This is the middle room, all tiled. Um, the walls kind of get dirty from the tiling. That's another thing when you go through tiling after you've painted But we have to clean them down and kind of touch it up, you know, and not bringing in back the painters So me and my husband and my relatives we have to 
start it out on our own and there we go that's the bathroom you know the fixtures not in just yet um, but my tile a little face basic area when you're tiling the bathroom the floor has to be the rough tiles i got these textured tiles from jung i really like them i think you give it a little lift um and they were i think they were like 500 dollars for one piece the ones on the wall um so i'm really 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 loving the look um so that's from standing in the show of course on a place clean up nice it's a good just you know pop can't wait to have my guests come in and just enjoy the ambience of it all all of those things need covered doors in the bathroom and both in the kitchen as well moving down the hall here we are we are at the bathroom number two so again i got the same textured tiles because i really like them um and the face basic kind of sit on top of the counter same tiles in the shower totally gonna go right there i love the little cutout thing on the wall to hold like the you know your little shower shampoo and body wash and stuff will go in there um and then i did the kind of grayish looking tile on the, the floor i'm gonna paint this bathroom a light gray because i said before i've no added gray to the palette and that little space to the side there that's going to be for storage under the bottom of the sink that's going to be for storage so we're now waiting on our cupboard cupboard doors and so on to go in so for me coming together we, we get in there um and it will all be worth it to have all my guests at bougainvillea escape bpe so this is just another view from the other end of the hallway so so let's go into the master bedroom or what i call bedroom number one all right so it has a similar door to the barn door we're going to get it tinted and also they're going to be draped stairs so there will be privacy um we also did the similar tile little accent there that's where the bed is going to be so we're kind of tying it back into the theme that is coming from the living room etc um this room has the the most amount of lighting and can i say a nice little view to wake up to um there are like three windows there two to the front and there's one to the side and you see the little view nice little view to wake up to and in the night it's really pretty because we we get to see the stars where we are it's not like we have like a lot of street lights that is you know kind of killing the view on the outside guys a million thanks if you watched the video this far thank you you're helping me to achieve my goal to join the youtube partner program so thank you thank you thank you